Okay, uh, here's my newest build. I don't know if you would call this one a gadget cache or a puzzle cache, but you call it whatever you want. I'll stick with a gadget cache because you still have to do some things with your hands and such to be able to open it to get to the container and log logbook inside. So you know, uh, as you can see, there is one, two. Three locks. Okay. It all will start with this one. This will, the code of that one will be given on the cache page. I already have things unlocked to make it a little bit easier on me because I'm doing this solo. Okay, you get that open. Uh, there'll be two of these containers inside. This one has the key right here for this lock. And, uh, yeah, I may have to edit this video. I'll see what happens. Okay, you got your two containers. Uh, please do excuse the mess. Uh, yeah. already got these undone too. As you can see there is one, two, three, four holes. I already undo unscrewed uh, three of them. These are simply leveling guides or glides. I wish they would have had the metal inserts but these are plastic so hopefully they don't strip out too easily. I just want to keep this cover on here snug to prevent like trash and insects from like going inside these holes if you can see them because these holes are the key to this whole cache but yeah like I said it, these just need to be on there snug to keep this pressed down against the the board the top you know Oh, and to remove it, I'm gonna work it like this. All right. Okay, you can see that they're all numbered. Total of 36 holes, 36 numbers, single digits. This right here was an error in my first attempt to make the cover, so. I didn't want to remove it, I just left it there, so ignore that. that. That has nothing to do with this now. Okay. Like I said, I'm doing this one-handed. You get all the sticks, put them in all the holes. I may have to fast forward this or edit it or something once I figure out how to do so. Because I'm taking this video with my smartphone, Android. Or Android smartphone, or whatever you want to call it. Okay, there's half of them. As you can see, they're up at different heights, and uh, four of them will lead to the combination to the lock on the very bottom of this container. Uh, so hold on. There's that key. <laughs> Hold on.
Okay, there you go. I saw the idea for this on a, one of the Geocache, Gadgetcache Facebook groups. I was like, hey, that looks easy enough, and I could probably pull that off. I just stepped it up a little bit. As you can see, they are various heights. They're all the same length of sticks. As you can see there, they're all the same length, but the holes. That's the key. They're all drilled down to a depth at different, you know, different depths. I don't know if you can tell right there, but I got like bits of 2x4 glued and uh, liquid nailed together to form a square block, so to speak. And that's all pretty much what's underneath this. So that you can, I could drill down to get different heights. Because I had to have some wood to drill into to get the heights. You know. Okay, but. Okay. As you can see here, this is what this looks like. You are to look for four to stand out. So there, like I said, there are different heights. But some of them, there's more than four of them. And some, there's only one at a certain height, like this number seven back here. That's one of the ones that will lead to the lock combination. And uh, this one right here. And y'all can try to determine the other two. Because I don't want to give away too much information. Because I would like for y'all to come actually find this cache, if possible. So, yeah. Hopefully what I say makes some sense. If not, I apologize. Just ask a question, leave a comment, and I'll see if I can answer it for you. To hopefully help you out. Trying to get some different angles so you can see what I'm talking about. If I've if I've even making any sense. <laughs> okay. Now once they figure out which four they need, they're going to use the numbers that are underneath those four, and they are to use them in a way. Which I'm not going to say. It'll be on the cache page when this gets to be public. Published. My bad. <laughs> and they will be able to open that lock right there. That'll unlock the swag compartment. Ooh, almost got you on the face. There's the geocache. I'll have to stock mine full of swag and such. They tend to like that. I mean, who does? Who wouldn't? So, I get a bunch of goodies in there. So, yeah. Then, when the cashers are done with the cash, they will hopefully put back everything as they found it. And yeah.